Hello everyone and welcome to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make my sweetheart scarf. This is made with a spike stitch and with chunky yarn. Um, a spike stitch quite often makes a lot of ends so to disguise them I've made a fringe in at the end just so that I could use a darning needle to sew them into the fringe in and therefore then they are disguised which is always a good thing saves all that sewing in but if you didn't want fringe in you could make this into an infinity scarf quite easily by joining it into a round and then just crocheting in the round and uh, making an infinity scarf if you did it a little wider then it could be a cow just do more rows um, or equally you could make it longer have no fringe in and just sew your ends in. I don't like a long scarf personally because I don't like my coat to be padded full of um, material. So um, whichever colour you use to make the little heart shape, then you want to start with the contrasting colour. Now I can't do this tutorial in black and red because it doesn't show up on camera. Uh, it makes it really difficult for you to see. Um, so I'm going to use different coloured yarn, but this is um, King Cole Big Value Chunky. It's very inexpensive. It's only £2.19 a ball. It's 100% premium acrylic. I often struggle with that. Premium acrylic. It's extremely squishy and soft. It's approximately 167 yards and 152 metres in each ball. So um, the reason I like this particular chunky is it has a good drape. Quite often chunky yarns are quite stiff, but this one doesn't. It's got a nice drape to it. So I'm going to use pink and blue. I want the hearts to be pink, so I'm going to start with the blue. Now, this particular um, scarf I'm going to be making with a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a pair of scissors and a darning needle for hiding those ends. So it's made with a multiple of four plus three turning chain. So I'll just get some yarn out and start with a slip knot. Now I do have a tutorial on how to do the magic loop and a slip knot. You make it whenever which way you prefer, but I was taught to make a loop, go around the back and through it, and just pull it. We need quite a nice long tail to disguise it into the uh, tasseling, the fringing, should I say. So I'm going to do each stitch quite slowly at first for beginners, but then I will speed up. There's not very many stitches in this tutorial and it is much easier than it looks. So for a chain, we go over and through so it's a yarn around the hook and pull through yarn around the hook and pull through so it's as simple as that now i'm going to speed up because we will need 155 chain for this particular scarf as i said if you wanted to do that longer or shorter if you're making an infinity scarf it's completely up to you as long as you've got multiples of four plus three so I'm going to pause the video and I'll meet you when we've got 155. Okay, so I've got my, my chain. So now we are not going to go into this first uh, chain here, the one on the loop that doesn't actually count. That's our first chain. We're going to go into the second chain from the hook and I'm going to be working in UK terms. I'm going to do a double crochet, which in the US is a single crochet. And to do that, we go into the chain, yarn over and pull through. So we have two loops on the hook, yarn over, oopsie, yarn over and pull through both loops. Then we go into the next chain, exactly the same, and yarn over and pull through. So we have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. And we are going to do that in every chain until the end. When you get to the last one, um, then we're going to change colour. 
So I'll show you how to do that. But that's as simple as that. Into the chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through too. So I'm gonna pause the video and I will catch up with you when we get to the end. Okay, so I've just got the one to go and I start my stitch as normal. I'm gonna catch that blue yarn and I'm going to start with the pink. Hold on a moment. Let's get some pink yarn out. And I'm going to finish that stitch. Sorry about the wobbly table. Put my foot on it, I'll stop it. And I'm going to finish that stitch in the pink and do a chain. And I've already snipped off that blue yarn. I did that a bit by accident. So just to make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere, this is the first, um, first tail. This is the one we've just snipped off. I'm just going to tie a little knot to keep that secure for me for now. So now we've changed color because we've finished that um, stitch in the pink and we've done a chain. So I'm going to turn my work so it's now facing this way. And the last stitch along here will be a tight one, so do watch out for that. But we're going to go into the first stitch and do a double crochet. And into the second stitch and do a double crochet. Now this is where it will get different. We're going to chain three and we're going to skip three stitches and do a double crochet into the next stitch. So I'm gonna to need to pull some more yarn. And so we'll do three chain, skip three, go into the next stitch and do a double crochet. So that's our repeat. Take the notice of those tails. I had a break in my yarn, I had to join it. So that is three chain, <coughs> excuse me, skip three stitches into the next one, do a double crochet. Three chain, skip three stitches and a double crochet into the next. So as you can see, that goes all the way along exactly the same. Three chain, skip three, double crochet. And we're going to repeat that all the way to the end. So that's quite simple. And when you get to the end, I will meet you. Okay, so I'm almost at the end. Now this does start to look a little tight because it looks like there isn't another stitch. But you've, your one turning chain is your second stitch. If you didn't like that, you could always add an extra one in, but it doesn't really need it. So there we are all the way along now this next row we keep the same color and we turn we do one chain and turn and we're going to just repeat this row so we're going to do two double crochets in the first two stitches and then we're going to chain three and in our double crochet, we're going to do another one. So we're just mirroring the row beneath. Three chain, and then double crochet into the double crochet beneath. It's very simple this round, it's just repeating. And so that's what it looks like. We'll just keep going all the way to the end. But when you get to the last stitch, we're going to change color again. Now this does grow really quickly because the rows go pretty fast with these rounds because it's mostly just chain. See, so that's all you're doing is mirroring the row beneath. So I'm going to carry on until I get to the end. I'm going to pause the video and I'll see you at the end. 
Okay, so I'm on the very last one. Three chain. Go into my first double and then into the second double, but we don't finish it because we're going to change colour. So we're going to get the blue, which has got in a bit of a tangle. Let's find the end. So I always hold on to that end with that hand. That way it doesn't get too loose. And finish off my stitch with the blue. Turn it over and just give these a little tie so that um, I can make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Don't really just want two loose ends. I'm going to cut off that pink so it's out of the way. So here we are, changed colour. We've done our chain already, so I'm going to turn my work. Get rid of the ball. Pull out some more yarn though. I don't think I need to. So, this is a little bit more of a tricky round. See what I mean about all these ends though? You do have rather a lot to sew in, and that's at both ends. So that's why I made the fringe. So with this row, you start off the same way. One double crochet into the first two stitches. That way we keep the edge nice and consistent. Now this is where it gets a little different. We do one chain and now we're gonna do a spike stitch. So we're gonna put our hook into the bottom of our two stitches and pull up a loop and then finish that stitch. So we have caught both of those rows and we're gonna do another chain and then a double crochet into the double crochet. You see, so that's one chain. We're gonna go into the bottom of those two lines of crochet, pull it up, finish the stitch and a chain. And then a double crochet into the double crochet. See how that forms that little heart shape? Pretty cute. Now always remember, one chain before doing the spike, one chain before doing the double crochet. And then we have the little row of hearts. So it's one chain, spike stitch, it up a little way, one chain into the double crochet and we're going to do that all the way along and it's as easy as that to make the little hearts. Always remember the chain onto both, both rows, pull it up, finish the stitch, one chain, one double crochet. See it's quite easy. One more time, one chain, under both rows, pull up, finish the stitch, one chain, one double crochet. There you are. So we're going to do that all the way along and I'll meet you again at the end. If you get a little bit confused, just um, go back a little way and see how to make the, the little hearts. But I'm going to pause the video and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I'm on my last one, my last spike, and the last two double crochets. When we go into the next one, oops, get it out. We don't finish it off. We grab our pink yarn and we change colour again. Pull some yarn out. I trapped that one back there for a moment. Sorry, join the pink, do a chain, turn it over, just do a little knot for now so that it doesn't come unraveled, and end off the blue. So now we're just working with the pink. Does help to take it with you. Okay, so 
we just turn our work and now we're on our pink rows again so simply do our double crochets and our first two stitches oh sorry went off camera I'll go back and do that again sorry about that this table's wobbly it's getting on my nerves a little bit need to put something under there so we go into our first double crochets our first two like we did before and we'll do three chain and then you can see there's your spike there's the double crochet so we're doing exactly as we did the previous rows over the spike into the double crochet three chain not into the spike but into the double crochet and it's as simple as that all the way along we we'll just carry on three chain and into the next double crochet all the way whoops lose my stitch it's a strange angle all the way to the end so I'll pause the video and I'll meet you at the end okay so I'm almost at the end of this row go into that and the next double crochet I get my angle right and one chain turn and we do exactly the same again just as we did with these two rows and go into the first two double crochet three chain oops fell out and then double crochet into the one below three chain one double crochet into the one below and we're just going to do that all the way along just as we did for this pink row sorry I had an itchy nose put me off three chain one double crochet so we're just mirroring what we did below and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So here we are again at the end to our last three pink chain into the first double crochet into the second one but don't finish it off. Hold that yarn. Grab on the blue and once again oops that went a bit baggy so i don't like that get that a little bit wasn't holding that tight enough see that's what i mean about why i hold it and do a chain and then stop that happening anymore and grab that and do a little knot just once end off the pink nice long tail and again with the blue turn your work and now we're going to repeat that just pull some yarn out we're going to repeat that spike row and um, I'm sure you remember it but I will just start you off first two we double crochet as normal and then we one chain into the bottom row bring it up finish off the stitch one chain and one double crochet one chain one spike one chain one double crochet so we're just doing another row and we carry on like that changing color as we go until we have our scarf the width that we want so if I bring my previous one I made my red one back you'll see that 
with this one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hearts. So I, I was going to make it seven, uh, but I decided on eight and I'm going to sneeze. So do bear with me a second. Sorry about that. Um, but when you've got a sneeze, it's not going to wait for anybody. So yes, I made it eight across, but you can make it seven across. You can go further, as I said, to make it into a cowl. So just decide how, how wide you want your scarf. And then um, I will end this tutorial here. This will be part one. And part two will show you how to end off. And if you want to do the fringing, we'll show you how to do that. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, press the little subscribe button. It's um, over one of these sides. And hit the little bell and set that bell to all. And you'll be informed when part two's up. And all the other videos yarn hauls giveaways and other tutorials that are coming up um, but I'll leave you to carry on with that and when you've reached your desired length um, just finish on a spike row and I will show you how to do part two bye bye for now